Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this uh, example we're going to look to some set of numbers that represents the side of a triangle. So we have one triangle here, a second one and the third one. And based on uh, these three statements we can classify the triangle. And if you read and if you take a look on these statements they want us to look to the less square of the length of the longest side. Right. Let's take a look here. Here, for, for instance, will be 4 square, right? Okay. That will be one thing. And then if you take a look on the other side, we're going to look to the sum of the square of the lengths of the other two sides. And the same thing here. So we're going to have 2 squared plus 3 squared. And what do we get here? We get 16, because 4 squared is 16. This is 4, and this is 9. End up with 16, and here on 13, which gives us this statement. So now let's take a look back on these two statements, and which one works. And if we take a look, the square of the length of the longer side of the triangle, therefore, is greater then the sum of the square of the lengths of the other two sides. Right? That's what we have here. The triangle is obtuse. Okay. What about this one? Again, 13 square here on one side is the longest side. We're going to square it. 5 square and 12 square. We square each one, but also we add them. This is 169, this is 25, this is 144. And we end up with what? 169 on this side and 169 on this side. We get the fact that the longer side squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In this case, is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us this triangle is a right. Triangle. And let's take a look to this one. Again, we're going to do 8 squared on one side, and on the other side, the sum of the other two sides squared. Okay, so we have 64 here, here is 25, here is 49, and we end up here with 64 on the left side, and here we have 74. But we notice the, in this case, the square of the length of the longer side is less than the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we have to call an acute triangle. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.